clumsy clot. Father, where have you been? Oh, out and about. I wish you wouldn't go wandering off all the time. What is he doing here? And he thought he'd join us. Isn't that nice? It's a beautiful night. Hey, you could have found better company. What did you say? Oh, Father, please. Here, Grandpops. Go buy yourself a tutti fruity. Get lost, Mr. Toad. Oh, sorry. No. F Father! All aboard, take them through, Mr. Skull. Only two dollars for the most terrifying ride here with Mr. Bone. Step right up now. Come on, sir. I'm a lovely lady. You look like a lovely couple. Thank you. Only two dollars. All aboard. Make sure you get Mr. Skull your ticket. Only two dollars. Come on now, children. Each and every one. <laughs> a lovely thrill. Here we go. Sorry. Come on, you old fool. I Out of here. Any harm. I was only pretending. You crazy wacko. Why don't you just go back to the jury? Ah. Ah. Oh. Someone call an ambulance, quick. Keep back, keep back, quick. Oh, God, I think that's Father. He's uh, just had a bit of a fall, lady. Father? Speak to me, Father. Speak to me. Leah, where am I? It's, it's all right. Had a wee fall, that's all. No, no, no. Just, no. just lie no. still. Shh. Lie still. Everything's going to be fine. God, he will be, yes. Anyway, he's home now. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. That's good. I really missed him. You know, Kanziora? He's about my favorite cool guy. And you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you boys are going to have a wonderful time, I know. Hey, Kanziora. Yeah. Can I go up and see Grandpa first? Of course you can. But be very quiet, because he may be asleep. I will. Come on, Kanziora. You've grown into such a fine young man. Grandpa? Yeah? You remember Kanziora from last summer? Hello. Yeah, Kanziora. How are you? Good. 
good. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. So how are you feeling then, Grandpa? Oh, since you guys got here, much, much better. Now, come on, let's all sit down on the bed, huh? So we can see each other. <laughs> it's awfully dark in here. Shall I turn on a light? No, 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 no. See, when you turn on the light, that's what hurts my eyes. I have a better idea. Why don't you go open up the curtains and the French doors and let in some air, okay? Good boy, yeah. <laughs> She never lets me open them up. It's a silly old woman. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Looks like a beautiful night out there. Yeah. It's a big moon and everything. Is there? Oh, I sure would love to see it. Come on, boys, give me a hand up. Come on now. Each of you grab a hand now. Let's go one, two, three. <laughs> Go, Grandpa. Yes, here we go. <laughs> ah, yes. We're gonna see what the wondrous night has to offer us. <laughs> Magnificent. Magnificent. A truly wondrous sight. Oh, <laughs> I tell you. of all life yet. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm What's all right. going on in here? Father, get back into bed immediately. Oh, no. Sausage and chips again? Revolting muck. <laughs> you two boys, your tea's on the table downstairs. Eat it while it's hot. A uh, canziori, a catch. Stop showing off. Just behave yourself. There you go. He didn't like it either. <laughs> oh. Oh, grosser than gut soup. Choice. You can't be serious. I love tomato sauce. Do you want some? Okay, everyone's fresh. <laughs> Hi. Hey, boys, how you doing? You got a spare snarl if you're Uncle Henny? Did you have a good flight? It wasn't bad. Is she upstairs with the, uh, the old beggar? Yes. Good on you. I think I'll have another one of those snarlers. They're bloody delicious. Is he really your uncle? No. Ronnie, hmm. do you think Ernie and your aunt are doing it? What? Do you? Man, anything's possible. Ronnie, I got something really weird to show you. Do you want to see? Sure. Where'd you find these? They fell out of a book from last summer. But look, there's none of your grandfather. Strange, eh? He was sitting in that chair, remember? So? Well, where's he gone? People just don't disappear from photos, do they? Wow. No, oh, how are you two boys getting on in here? Elia, look at this. Grandpa was down in the garden when we took these. He was sitting in that chair. But it's empty now. Hmm. How uh, very odd. Probably just a trick of the light, boys. Now, finish up, and I'll get you some ice cream. But, Lonnie, there is something strange going on. I know there is. 
Did you see your aunt's face when she saw the photos? Oh, man. You have got an overstimulated imagination, which usually leads to madness. Madness, Kenziora! <laughs> it does not. That house gives me the creeps. Don't you feel it? Madness! <laughs> Listen. Did you hear that? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Bunny, in this book I've been reading, it says, in the mountains of Carpathia, the birds sing at night. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Look, I gotta get some shut eye. I'm really beat. How about I come over in the morning? Okay. Dream weird. I will. See you later, mashed potato. In a while, crocodile. Good to have you back, son. She's a marvelous lady living in that big old house with a sick father. I'll grab the boards. Go away! And you're out here on your own this time? Yeah. Dad's gone on tour in Europe with the Philharmonic. So my mom and my little brother have gone with him. Hmm. Derek, listen to what Lonnie's saying. It's very interesting. Mm, what's that? Let's go. Bye. You be careful, you boys, from between the flags. Have fun. sleep last night thinking about those photos and everything. They don't come out. Who? Vampires. Vampires? <laughs> they don't. You can't take photos of them or see them in mirrors. I've been doing some reading. Oh, man. You Kiwis are real fruitcakes. Ah, not. It's true, Lonnie. Grandpa Cougar, a vampire. Kanziora, you have truly flipped, old man. Last one in is a double door. Take him some garlic. They really hate that. Or some holy water. We could steal it from a Catholic church. We could sprinkle it on his cornflakes. What do you reckon, Lonnie? Let's do it. Come on. Say yes, please. OK. But I'm having nothing to do with it. This is your scam, man. Go. <sighs> Watch. You know what, man? You're insane. I'm not. I'm just being scientific, that's all. Yes, Professor. Thank you. 
Well, well. What's happening here, boy? Hmm? Nothing. On honest. Is that a fact? What's that you're hiding from me? Just, just a chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake? Show me, boy. You wouldn't be telling lies, would you? Not in God's house. Well, show me, boy. Oh. Oh. Time has come. Yes, my dear, it has. <sighs> I think you're possessed of enormous courage. Thank you. If there's any change, I suggest you ring Dr. Goldblatter. I will. All right. Yes. Come on in. Yeah, Kenziori. Light the candle. Yeah, it is a bit dark in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's much better, isn't it? So, how are you feeling, Grandpa? Oh, I tell you, when I get a visit from you boys, I feel a hundred years younger. <laughs> Is that dreadful man gone? Which man, Grandpa? Ernie Node, rhymes with Toad. <laughs> you know, he comes barging in here like, like he owns this place. I mean, there's a no-hoper. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I do not know what your aunt sees in a guy like him. <laughs> i tell you, you know, in my day, you know what we call guys like him? Slime balls. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your laughter is music to my ears, and, you know, I... I don't have fun anymore, and, you know, she won't even let me play Papageno. <laughs> I have an idea. Lonnie, why don't you turn on the tape recorder, huh? It's his favorite music, the magic flute. Yeah. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh, he was a beautiful boy. <laughs> So early, that's clinging, so shame. It's magic. <sighs>
What happened, Johnny? He just collapsed. Didn't he, Kanziora? Father. Father? Please, leave now. I know he will. Yeah, hope so. Ha ha! Man, you are so useless. Am not. Come on, try me. I'm ready for it. Easy out, easy out. Got you a little something. Oh, you shouldn't have. How lovely. <laughs> What's happening? Shh. <laughs> Pervert. Moonlight chocolates. Oh, Annie. <laughs> Come on. Do, do you think we should? Yeah. This garden, honey. It's a blessing. A real blessing. Better go now. Mum will be wondering where I am. <laughs> he was a nice old guy, eh? I'm really sorry what I said about him, being a vampire and all that stuff. That's okay. We sure knew how to do magic, eh? That was really cool. Yeah. Look, I better go in now. Be with Aunt Leah. Okay. See you later, mashed potato. In a while, crocodile. to worry about him. He's being very brave. Here he is now. Who is it? Hello? Ma! Oh, Ma, it's so sad about Grandpa. We are having such a great time together. I'm really gonna miss him. Yeah, I'm okay. Please, don't worry about me. So, how are Bobby and Dad? Say hi. 
Okay. My mom. I love you too. <laughs> Draw a source of power from the rays of the full moon, said by many to be the essence of all existence. It is not a well-known fact that some vampires attempt to lead a normal human life, but this is often with considerable difficulty, since they are all nocturnal creatures and have unorthodox cravings. Christopher, Mum wants you to go out into the shop to get some milk. Now! Pathetic monsters. They rot your brain. Go away! Hey, did you know me, Bridget and Serena are going in for the teen talent time? Down at the carnival? It's a hundred bucks first prize. Leave me alone, would ya? Christopher! Phone. Okay. Hello. Kenzie Aura, it's me. Hi. Hey, you're invited to the wake. The what? Aunt Leah says you can come to the party for Grandpa. Wear a suit and tie. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Uh, Mom, do I have a suit and tie? <laughs> Whatever for. I'm invited to a party. Oh, that's nice, dear. Whose? Lonnie's grandfather's. It's a funeral party. Oh, Dad! Thank you for everything. Thank you for coming. Goodbye, Martha. Very sad. Hello, Kenziora. How are you? Fine, thanks. In you go. I've been practicing my Kiwi accent. It's not hoi, good oi, moi. It's hi, g'day, mate. Lonnie, go and get your friend a nice drink, something festively funereal. Come on. My nephew's friend, come to pay his respects to father. We got coffee. Isn't that nice? Not gonna go. Look at these dead goobers floating in here. Mind the midgets. The midgets are coming through. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Jane. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's all right, sir. Oh, senior sergeant, are you all right? Uh, yes, 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 we're fine. Thanks. I don't think you know my nephew, Donny, from California, and his friend, Kenzie Aura. Hoi, good boy, Moy. This is uh, Senior Sergeant Dickie Ticker, a local constable, and his wife, Winona. Winona. Frightfully jolly way. Oh. <laughs> now, your father, he was an absolutely. Oh, I've never seen a real live corpse up close before. <laughs> Gee, Pong's a bit, eh? She's been sprinkling room deodorizer over him. <laughs> That's not. Bunny, can I check something out? What? Just stand beside me for a minute, okay? Donald! Bingo! Lonnie! Get away from that coffin. Somebody's already tipped a plate of stuffed eggs over him. Be respectful of the dead child. One day it'll be you in there. Let's get out of here before I barf all over my shoes. Very strange. This is getting weird, man. What did I tell you? You wouldn't believe me. What out, would you? It's just not possible. They're not real, those things. Grandpa's dead. He's dead. I've been doing some research, and according to my books, they don't die. Who? Vampires, dummy. The only way you can kill them is to drive a stake right through their heart. So he's not dead, right? Is that what you're saying? He can't be. They're Nosferatu, the undead. Ah, there you are, Lonnie. Well, the last of the guests has just gone. It all went wonderfully well, didn't it? What a beautiful evening. His last on this... Island Earth. It's very sad for me, Lonnie. Terribly sad. I shall miss him so much. Yes, Aunt. Well, I just have to pop over to Ernie's place for a, a little while. I'm sure you boys can amuse yourself. Is that all right? Yes, Aunt. I'll be fine. I'm sure you will. Well, there's plenty of food in there if you're hungry, so bye-bye. I'm stuffed. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah! Honey, what's happening to my fingers? 
You know, I have you to thank for this. You have awoken me with your strength, your vitality, your energy, your vulnerability. And, and that which feeds the soul, it's nocturnal sustenance. No. You're not real. You're not. Kenzie Order, this is a major nightmare. I can't handle it. Get me out of here. It's OK, Lonnie. Really, it's OK. Lonnie. Dear Lonnie, forgive me for frightening you, but I can't help it. It's the way I am. Kanziori understands, don't you, boy? Uh, y yes. He'll be all right, Mr. Cougar. I think he's just the nervous type. Bite your ass. <laughs> but why are you a... Uh... A vampire. Vampire! I'm not ashamed. We are who we are. But they make movies about you. Hey, Lonnie. Yeah, right. And you go around scaring people to death and biting them and turning them into vampires. And you have blood dripping from your mouths. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> but I hate to disappoint you. Movies are not real. Your dreams are real. Your imagination is more powerful than any movie. Well, have you ever sucked people's blood? Kenzie Ora, what a dumb question. Please don't even mention that word. Boys, you see before you an ancient man whose time on this planet is slipping away. But... I was different. You see, I chose to live the human life, the path from birth to decay and death. But I should have known we always return. Permit me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am your humble servant, Danak, a vampire of innocent origin from the 18th century. Mommy, Kanziori, can I interest you perhaps in a little music and magic to remember me by? Huh? Come, come. Take my hand, come. Come, you remember? Mozart! Huh? Now we go out 
into the night. how the mighty have fallen. Can you get up? Yeah. This is someone's place. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Can you walk? No problem. No problem. Who the hell's there? No, it's Ernie the Nerd. Think you're bloody smart, do you? Watch this. Sunny beggars, eh? Well, come on, then. I'll take you on one at a time, and I'll knock your bloody blocks off. It's still alive. must rest. Man, I'm gonna get it this time. We gotta get him back home before she finds out. Oh, listen, boys, I, I, I can't go there. I want to be part of the ancient way again. But, Grandpa, you can hardly walk. Oh, Lonnie, dear Lonnie, please, don't take me home. I'm, terrible things will happen there. I want to live. I want to fly like, like Peter Pan with you boys. And, Oh, we will have such great adventure. Huh? Help me. Save me. Please. Come on, Kansiora. 
You got all the bright ideas. Where can we take them? Well, come on, think. I know. There's an old shed down in the garden. Perfect. A shed? How humiliating. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, uh, it probably was Father up there. You see, he's not exactly one of us. You haven't me on. Oh, watch the road! Jesus Christ! You're telling me that your old man's a bloody vampire? It's our family's darkest secret. You see, he's been alive for over 200 years. But only the unspeakables happened. Now that he is dead, he could return to being a true vampire. Truth, you're not one of them, are you? Mercifully not. Sure, glad to hear it. Well, there's one way to stop those jokers. I've seen it on TV. Works a treat every time. Stay clean through the house. <gasps> what are you saying? Certainly not. No, that's no way to treat my father. Leah, he's a monster. My father is not a monster. He's a bloody vampire. You know what those bastards get up to, don't you, eh? They're only after one thing. Blood. I tell you, Leah, a good old stake through the heart will shut the beggar up for good, eh? <gasps> Grandpa. Eh, Kenzira? Yeah. This coat will keep you warm. Oh. This is quite cozy. We'll come and see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, but don't go out, will you? Please, Grandpa, stay here. Promise? <laughs> what is it? Garlic. Oh, would you mind? It makes me quite nauseous. Kenzira. I gotta get going. Okay. Wish me luck. Just be cool, man. That's all. It was a great night, wasn't it? The best, man. The best. Grandpa, we're going now. So, nighty-night. Night. Sleep tight. Don't let the vampire bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Dreadful's happened. Your grandfather's body has just disappeared. Really? Uh, how? We don't exactly know, but it's not there. 
Did you see anybody enter the house after we left? No. Are you sure? Yeah, honest. Look, can I go to bed? I'm really wiped out. Oh, of course, dear. You run along and I'll be up in a minute to turn off the light. Good night, everybody. Good night, dear. Good boy. Yeah. More. Just one more, okay? Who's that? Just getting a drink. Hi. Dad's coming. What's all the bloody noise out here? Do. You out here, Christopher? What the? Hey, wake up, son. Hey, wakey, wakey. You all right? Where? Where am I? You've been having a bit of a walk in your sleep. Funny wee man, aren't you? Should get back to the shed, yes. Hello. Can I speak to Lonnie, please? No, no, I'm sorry, Kenziora. He, he's uh, busy today. Can I talk to him? Goodbye. Why? You're not going anywhere today, Lonnie, till I've sorted out this terrible business. But why? That's not fair. While you're in my house, child, you'll do as you're told. Understood? Yes, Aunt Leah. Swear to God you know nothing about this. Swear on the... on the Almighty's name. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? No, Aunt Leah. I swear it. Good boy. Now, finish your breakfast and, and make your bed. Today, you'll, you'll play in the garden. OK. And if I'm really, really good, can I go swimming later? We'll see. What am I gonna do for my red old queen? It's a very sore, I don't know what to do. Miss my little sisters, just look at all my blisters. Let them be a warning to you. Yes, hey, Christopher. Where's your American friend, then? We want to meet him. Yeah, he sounds a real spunk. Busy. Tammy said he looked like River Phoenix. I did not. Did so. Liar. Come on, let's start again. Okay. What am I gonna do for my red old queen? It's a very sore, I don't know what to do. This my little sister's just looking at all my blisters. Let them be a warning to you. Yes, 
Anything. It's your van. <laughs> Be quiet. It's revolting like moldy chops. Christopher, did you invite Lonnie to the barbecue tonight? Oh, he's not allowed out. Wasn't that so sad? starting to feel very strange. How strange? Please don't do anything strange. Not here. Just hang on, Mr. Cougar, would you? Get me out. I need darkness. The cave. The cave. Boy, take me to the cave. Help me, Tanzio. I need darkness. What's happened? 
I'm glad to see you. Where is he? In the boot. The boot? Oh, you mean the trunk? Man, I've got something to tell you. Ernie the nurse has been making steaks. They really want to slam one through his heart. What? Yeah, for real. We gotta hide him real good this time. They're out looking for him now. Lonnie, we can't tell him they want to stake him. Why not? He's gotta know. No, don't you see? We gotta protect him, look after him. We said we would. He needs us. If we tell him, we promise the bloody people. Shh. He'll hear us. Please, Lonnie, don't tell him. Sure, buddy. I won't. Sister, aren't you? Yeah, Tammy. Well, I'm Leah Cougar, Lonnie's aunt. Tell me, have you seen the boys about today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have. They're down at the beach, eh? Yes. With some funny old guy, all wrapped up like a mummy. Like a mummy? He looks a dag, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see where they went? They headed off towards the caves. Thank you very much. <laughs> Circulation in the, in, in the extremities. Yeah. <laughs> now, oh, I must rest. Too much excitement for one day. We'll come back later, okay? Yeah, good. And, and, and after sunset. And do be careful. We will. Don't you worry about us. And uh, please remember the poor circulation. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello? Oh, Senior Sergeant Ticker. Who? Oh, yes, I remember her. Tallish woman in a polka dot frock. She what? Oh, there must be some mistake. She swears it was him? Oh, quite impossible. Yes. She's hysterical. Oh, oh, dear. Too much sun, perhaps. Yes. Well, of course. 
No. No trouble at all. Oh, my God. It's begun. Oh. Ernie! Ernie! Quick! What is it? That was Ticker. Someone's recognised Cougar. She's in the hospital under sedation. We must move quickly now. Oh, I denied it all, of course. But go down to the caves. I know he's there. And bring him back. I'll deal with it. <laughs> Hello, Lonnie. Hi. Gee, it was hilarious today, Mum. Lonnie's grandfather tripped over these ladies on the beach. Don't be silly, dear. Oh, Mr. Cougar died. Hi. Hi, Lonnie. That was your grandfather, Ray. What? But, Mum, I saw him. He was alive. Watch your lip, young lady. Here, go and take these and put them on the table. I was so sorry to hear about old Mr. Cougar, dear. Yeah. Mm, such a delightful character. <laughs> Why don't you boys go and have some chops? <laughs> my boy. I don't want you to worry. <laughs> Let him come. <laughs> I don't want you to concern yourself with such relatively unimportant human matters. <laughs> We've brought you some stuff. Oh, your boys have done well, haven't you? And I flogged a huge bottle of gin for you, too. Oh, God bless your little souls. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's time for me medicine. Yeah. <laughs> You know, for the circulation. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, I, I think I better have another, you know. Mm. Just in case, you know. Aha! Got the beggar! Grandpa! Die, you monster, die! Oh, really? <laughs> die, you monster, die! Oh, how pathetic he is! Take that! Oh, well, take this! Celebrate. Where shall we go? Hey, what about McDonald's? But it's not safe there. You'll be seen. Lonnie, Lonnie, my boy, let's be daring. I want to have fun. Mr. McDonald! Look like I fit in with the crowd, huh? <laughs> yes, sirree, yeah? <laughs> Grandpa, you look cool. Give me five, and five makes ten, and here we go. <laughs> Hello, 
281 years of starting the show. Here, let me sit down. Go ahead, make yourself comfortable. Oh. I know. Oh. What's the matter with him? Maybe he needs food. Grandpa, would you like a Big Mac? A big what? A Big Mac. They don't eat me. He wants blood. Okay, two quarter pounders, two large fries, two raw meat patties. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Yes, yes. yes. What, what are you doing? What? No, 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 that's not, no, no, please. I, I can't. I, just the sight of it makes me sick. No, please. No, no, I can't. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna have it. No, no, Mr. Kruger, no. you need your strength. No, no, no. Please, no. drink. Come on, Grandpa. Open up. Uh, um... I think I'll have another one. Yeah, yeah, waiter! The waiter! It got so! Yeah, yeah. No waiters here? Oh no! Look out! You beggars thought you could outdo me, eh? Eh? Yeah, Sergeant Ticker, please. This man is a vampire! Yeah, mate, and I'm John Collins. Come on, Grandpa. Let's go. Now. Run! No, you don't. Come on with me or what? You demon! Stop! Whatever you're doing... You? But you're supposed to be... dead. I am... dead. <laughs> Get in the car! Hurry up! Lonnie, stop that! Any help! Don't let them take him away! You want to kill him, Mr. Tigger? That's enough. Get him! Get him! Understand. It was those beautiful boys that gave me life. I didn't mean any harm. I'm having a little fun. Fun? You call resurrecting yourself from the dead and running around biting people fun? You give me no choice, Father. Was that no hope I already put you up to this, that worthless bum? I'm not listening. I want to 
die this way. I, I, I promise. I'll behave myself. You don't understand, do you? You're already meant to be dead. But Leah, I, I am your father. <laughs> flesh. Feeling better now, are we, my son? And have we been saying our prayers? Yes, Father. Good boy. Boy, close, eh? Yeah. Oh, man, where is he? He's around, honey. See, Mum and Dad. They're gonna kill me. Okay. I didn't know where you'd gone. I'm sorry. Don't you do that again, Christopher, without telling your mother. She's been worried sick. Be quiet. I said I was sorry, Dad. Be quiet. Hamish hey, McFurter, ladies and gentlemen. What a talented young man. What a good. Well, now <laughs> for something a little more exotic. We're expecting out on the stage three lovely young ladies. And they tell me that they've only been singing together for the last three days. Is that correct? And here they are. Don't they look lovely? Oh, right. It's Serena, Tammy and Bridget who sing their hula song, My Red Opu. What am I going to do for my red opu? It's a very sore. I don't know what to do. Oh, man. Miss my little sister, she's just a child. My blisters, <laughs> that 
been a naughty boy, haven't I? Are you okay, Aunt Leah? Yes. I'm fine now. But, Aunt Leah, there's something I don't understand. How come you aren't one of them? <laughs> oh, Lonnie, it's all so long ago. Once upon a time, your grandfather fell in love with a beautiful woman, Bella Louise. My mother. And he loved her completely, in the human way. Not the ancient way, you understand? He never bit her. That's right, Kenziora. So, thank God, we were spared. But come along now. Father wants to see you both. Grandpa! Wow, isn't he magnificent? Lonnie, and Ziori, come, come. It's time now for me to say goodbye. Goodbye? Well, where are you going? Your grandfather has decided to leave. It's the best thing.
We're all concerned. But where will we go? It's time for me to take my freedom, Lonnie, and join the others. Others? You mean there's more? Oh, yes. Many more, like myself, who wander this planet in search of love and understanding. You boys have set me free with your honesty and your bravery, and I'll never forget you both, ever. Will we ever see you again, Grandpa? Oh, Lonnie, I'll always be there. Hey, eh, Kanziori? Yeah? And in your dreams, I will return. I will. Leia, my traveling coat, please. I'll always love you, Lonnie. Farewell. See you later, mashed potato. In a little while, crocodile. Sucker out. Good. Why do you think your aunt likes him? You know, Kanziora, love's a very strange thing. It makes him go funny in the head. Really screwy, man. <laughs> the same, like we are now, tonight, forever and ever. Yeah, that'd be lovely, eh?
city streets are dark and cold Along the heads about to unfold The neon lights are flashing by A stranger's voice is whispering why We'll never stop, we'll never give in Our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast, we're living loud our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We're driving down the open road Our spirits high, our passion glowed We're chasing dreams that seem so far We're raising hell like shooting stars We'll never stop, we'll never give in our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing, we'll keep on playing Until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast We're living loud Our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels We are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns Stop, we'll never stop We'll never stop, we'll never stop We're living fast, we're living now Our hearts are beating like a dropping crowd Echoes like a thousand guns We're living fast, we're living now Our hearts are beating like a drop in